Hey there, Matt Reed here from Perth Product Photography down in Perth in Western Australia, instructor here on Photogy, and there's another cool kind of tip, it's more of a way of thinking or a, a workflow that I wanted to share with you that will help with your photography. Now this was actually learnt uh, in a workshop a few years ago in Dubai, I was actually in a class uh, with Gregory Heisler, an amazing portrait photographer from the States, and the thing that he taught us one of the things in the class but the one thing that stuck with me was take the opposite photo now i'll explain what that means and this is particularly helpful if you're stuck for an idea um, or if you've taken one shot but you kind of need another shot but you just don't know where to go or if you're literally kind of struggling and we're all there we're in a position where we're trying to make a photo work and what we're trying isn't working and we kind of need some kind of magic burst of inspiration. And so this little technique I, we use all the time. And so taking the opposite photo, which means, could mean all sorts, but if you've got a long lens on, switch to wide. If you, the actual example is, um, or the actual kind of um, event in Greg's class is we went to the beach. And so we were gonna do portraits at the beach. And this is where he told us, it's like, well, it could take the opposite photo. So. We're at the beach, the obvious thing is would be to show the beach. Let's try and not show the beach. And so we started hunting around for different kind of aspects and different views. And we ended up taking stunning photos and you couldn't even, we didn't even know we we're at the beach. And so those photos just wouldn't have existed without that kind of mentality. And so that's obviously one specific case, but it applies to everything. It applies to studio photography as well. And so taking the opposite photo. So if you're low, try high, try overhead. If you're going really kind of low key and, and dark and moody, try high key, just whatever the opposite is. If you're shooting really wide, try and stick on a long lens and, and have a look at the product through different eyes. If you're out on side and everything's like bright and sunny, head for shade. Like literally whatever you're kind of thinking of or whatever you're going for at the time, flip it on its head and try the opposite. And usually there's a pretty awesome photo waiting there. And if nothing else, it just kind of, it gets you out of a jam and gets you thinking again and gets you trying things. And that's kind of what we need as photographers. We always need like interesting ideas or, or an idea in a, uh, in a time of need. I hope that helps. Let me know if it does. And also if you've got any thoughts, ideas, comments, leave them in the comments. I'm around and uh, happy to chat with you. Good luck, enjoy, cheers.